Rihanna from Rompai and today I'm going to show you how to make my special chili sin carne with a little bit of chorizo. When you get cooking, make sure that it's completely comfortable for yourself. So you get yourself a nice drink, a beer, a glass of wine, tea, whatever's your kink, and put on some nice music and then we're just going to cook up a storm. These are the base ingredients. We have some garlic, some onion, uh, then we have some bell pepper, some carrot, sorry, I have to translate in my hand, um, and some celery, fresh coriander to put on top. We have the vegetarian uh, raw meat, and then we have the chorizo, and here we have some tomato, some corn, some beans. I like to get the ones that already have a bit of a chili sauce. The more flavor, the better. And some chickpeas. Now it's time to add some spices. I've now added the beans and the chickpeas and the tomato and the corn. Give it a good stir. Look at all this color. So beautiful. Mm. We have one small espresso, some sriracha sauce, some balsamic vinegar, and some chipotle hot sauce. Just add it. Oh, I forgot something actually. Chili sauce. Now just let it simmer for I would say about 20 minutes um, and while it's simmering you can take a little break. But put in the chorizo first because there's a lot of oil in the chorizo, so you can just use that to bake it in. I added some salt and some pepper and some smoked paprika powder. Uh, you just let it sit for a bit, make sure it doesn't burn, and then you can add it to the chili. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? So this is also a good moment to taste it, to see if you need to add anything for the last bit of simmering. The moment of truth. Mmm. Ooh, spicy! Ta-da! So, I put some of the chili in my bowl. The only thing I'm going to add is some coriander on top. And then, I don't know what this is called in English, but it's like these little sour onions. Um, and I really like it in there, so I just pop a few in. Voila! So that's it. Now you're ready to eat. So enjoy. Bon appetit. <laughs>